Hey, everybody. Welcome. Today, we're going to talk about the four types of knowledge. And why is this so important? Because when you can identify where you're at, it's going to actually amplify the speed at which you learn something, the speed at which you progress, and take away so much frustration, procrastination, and self-sabotage. This comes straight from neuro-linguistic programming training. But first, let's run the showreel. <laughs> okay, first, we all start out in a place called unconscious incompetence, which means you don't know what you don't know. Have you ever had a time where you thought you understood a subject really thoroughly and then realized there was a whole aspect of it that you didn't even know was possible or that you weren't aware of? Have you ever realized there was more to learn? So this is why it's so important to start paying attention to and having mentors or coaches around us that have a larger perspective than us or who have been through things that we are now experiencing. So that way they can bring us from, con from unconscious incompetence. In other words, we don't know that we don't know it to what we call conscious incompetence. Now, this is a place where we're a little bit more dependent on others. We know we don't know it, but we are learning it. And we get to learn all of the things. And it's so great to learn. Now, this is where people can get stuck, where they want to jump to knowing it and knowing it really well. Unfortunately, the process of building neurons, the process of getting it in our mind and in our body requires that we actually do the thing. And often we get stuck or start procrastinating in doing the thing. So I encourage you push through this stage because there's two ways we get through something through force or with speed. The faster you move through something to the other side, the easier it will be to get to the other side. But if we sit and procrastinate and focus on what we don't know, focus on how hard it is, focus on all the stuff, it takes more effort to get through, thus more suffering, more challenges, more time, more money, more energy, because the stage we want to get to the next is conscious competence. This is like, I know that I know it. For example, you know how to drive, or you know how to bake a cake. You know how to talk to your partner. So you know that you know how to do it but it still may require some thought. It may require a little bit of effort still and may still require some hard work, some thought. Making mistakes still comes in this. Now, I do have to mention making mistakes comes at every stage, of course, because we're human and even the most competent conscious person makes mistakes sometimes, don't we? And our fourth stage is unconscious competence. This means we are so skillful at something that it is in our nervous system. It is in our way of being. These are the athletes who get into the zone and just do it and they do it well and they do it right. This is the person that drives the car very, very well even when they're thinking about something else, right? We drive to the store in a trance and we don't even remember that we drove the store because we are so good at it on an unconscious level. Yet if something goes wrong, we snap back into conscious awareness immediately. So those are the four stages of learning. How does this work? So we start out not knowing what we don't know. And then we learn that, oh my gosh, there's a gap there's something I didn't know. And now I know that I don't know it. And then I learn the thing. So maybe I take the class or I do the training or I start learning the skill. And every time I do that, I still have to think about it. So I practice. This is the practicing stage, right? Perfect practice makes perfect. This is when we start doing the actual work of building it into our body and into our brain. And then we get into unconscious competence where we just do it automatically. It takes really almost no effort, really almost no thought. 
and it just flows and is part of us and who we are. I encourage you ask any questions in the comments below. I'm taking some advanced training and I'm excited to share all of the new things with you. Until then, know that you are love, you are loving, and you are lovable. Be gracious and nice to yourself. Namaste.